This is a 2019 Kawasaki ZX6R, and this is what I think about it. Humana, 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 humana. So guys, here we have a 2019 Kawasaki ZX6R or 636. As most of you guys may know, since the early 2000s, people have loved this bike and this platform, whether it be building stunt bikes or having a bike for track. Um, plenty of you guys may know Brian 636 has always been a Cowie guy before he had a Honda F4i. But um, all in all, in my personal opinion, looking at this bike, it looks very, very clean. Um, you know, in 2019, they did introduce this like more sleek style in the front. Um, I believe two or three models before this, they introduced that style. Um, some of you guys may know on the older ZX6R is more like a bubble light. I'll try to find a picture of that and put it on the screen here. Um, but all in all, um, this is a buddy of mine's bike. Um, just something super simple as an exhaust on this bike makes this bike sound and look even better. Um, you know, Kawasaki normally stays with that green and gray color on their newer bikes. Um, he was lucky enough to find one that was in this beautiful pearl white. Um, and all in all, this thing just looks amazing. Um, the ignition is marked pretty well. As you guys can see, hopefully the camera can focus on that. Um, the screen display looks beautiful. As you guys can see, this very beefy air duct that uh, comes through the front end of the bike. Now, not a lot of manufacturers did this to their motorcycles. Um, Cowie, I believe, introduced this in 2010 or 2009 with the uh, air duct that goes through the middle and goes straight through the middle of the bike and down into the engine. Um, as you guys know, on my 2014 GSXRs and all my other Jixxers, the air intakes are right here on the sides of the bikes. But um, now let's get on to the specs. So this bike comes with an inline four engine. Its engine displacement is 636 cc's. Um, its bore to stroke ratio is 67.0 times 41.1 millimeters. Um, the torque, it has 52, 52 foot pounds of torque at 11,500 RPM. So in, in, in biker terms or younger rider terms, that's instant wheelie. Um, the compression ratio of this bike is 12.9 dot dot one. Um, and this bike does take 93 guys, so, you know, most of your motorcycles take 93. Um, this bike also comes with a power mode, um, just like Jixxers, you know, A, B, and C mode, your advanced, your basic, and then like your rain mode. Um, this bike comes with a power and a KTRC mode. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and start the bike and let you guys listen to the Twin Brothers exhaust and uh, get a few riding videos as well as a few questions for the owner of this bike, um, something new we haven't done on the channel before, and then that'll conclude this video. So guys, he ended up picking this bike up with only 3,000 miles on it. Right now it has 4,229, but this is a startup with the Twin Brothers exhaust. So most of you guys may know if you ever done an exhaust job or if you ever done any exhaust work on a motorcycle if he did not have his cat or his secondary deletes that bike would be shooting flames right now and I do believe I'm not sure if this bike has an ECU flash or nor tune on it. I might be doing one on this in the future, but if he did not have his cat, that bike would be shooting flames. And uh, also, I'm going to leave a link in the description to Chris Moore um, because he built a 66 after his tuning, um, after he did the mapping, you know, the air induction, you know, torque, everything, all that beautiful magical things in the in the tune on the ECU. He built a 66 that was beating 1,000s on the on the drag strip, which is insane. Um, 
all in all, if I were ever to switch brands from Suzuki, I would definitely be going to Kawasaki. Um, just because their bikes are built to be beat. And I beat my bikes. I race my bikes. I wheelie my bikes. I endo, burn out, do everything to my bikes. Um, I'm a big believer and I paid for the speedometer. I'm going to use the speedometer. But um, I'm going to go ahead and ask him a few questions about the bike. Hey guys, I'm here with Matt. And Matt's going to explain to us what his first bike was and if he suggests a Kawasaki 636 as a first bike. So, um, Matt, what was your first bike? So, my first bike was a CBR 500R. And I paid like. 8500 for that bike and then like a few months later sold it got bored only put like 2,000 miles then bought this and it's a huge difference and I paid almost the same price and it's just a totally different totally different thing it's like learning how to ride again exactly much. and guys that's why I tell you guys all the time if you're gonna start on something make sure you make the right decision because nine times out of ten when you purchase a smaller CC bike and you go to a bigger CC bike you get bored of the lower CC and you want something more powerful especially here in South Florida where we have large group rides and you know if you're the small guy in the back of the pack you're obviously gonna want to have something to get up to the front and for the same price he was almost able to buy the same bike bike um but a much larger cc i mean i know obviously there's a difference between honda and kawasaki but a good beginner bike when i say same bike that's what i mean um and then the last question i have for you would you suggest this bike as a first bike or would you suggest that cbr 500 um i'd recommend this bike because it's not it's not too crazy but it's like it's good enough especially the 500 did you know first learning helped me I guess with little things but this was still it's just this is a little crazy for if you're first I don't know if you go to school and shit like the the learning school then you're good definitely always guys take your MSF course and get your certifications well guys that's gonna be it for the video if you guys like the video make sure to like comment subscribe as well as share it with your friends and family I would greatly appreciate it I'll check back with you guys in the next one peace if you guys would like to follow Matt on Instagram his Instagram link will be in the description I'll check with you guys in the next one peace peace peace